Hi. Now, for this question, we were given this statement here and asked to work out the value of W. And it turns out that W is exactly 29.2. So as usual, what I'll do is I'll take you slowly through this solution. And it's quite a long solution. So there might be times when you might want to fast forward. OK, so first thing I want to do is just draw a sketch of the distribution of X. Remember, X follows a normal distribution. It's got a mean of 21. We're told it's got a standard deviation of 5. So the second parameter here, I've written as 5 squared, the variance. OK, you could obviously write 25 there. So I've drawn up that distribution here with the mean of 21. Now, we're told that the probability of X being greater than this value W given that x is greater than 28 is 0 0.625. So as you can see, I've shaded on that probability of being more than 28. So we know that being more than 28 has occurred. We're looking for the probability that x is greater than this value w. So if I mark on w, it's got to be in this shaded region. So let's just say it's this point here. Put that in as w. Now when it comes to this probability, it turns out to be 0 0.625. You've got to remember that that probability is the proportion of this area to the right of w compared with the proportion of the area greater than 28. I can write that in probability terms as this. I can say 0 0.625 is equal to the probability that x is greater than w, so that would be that shading to the right of w, compared with, let's divide it by then, the probability of x being greater than 28. That is that conditional probability, OK, here. So what I need to do is rearrange this for the probability of x is greater than w. So I've just got to multiply by the probability of x is greater than 28 to both sides. So therefore, I've got the probability of x being greater than w is going to be equal to 0 0.625 multiplied by the probability of x being greater than 28. OK, now in the usual way, I need to standardize this value of 28. OK, so we can pick up on the fact that this is 0 0.625 multiplied by the probability, I'll put this in square brackets, the probability of our random variable z, our standardized random variable z, being greater than the observed value, which is 28, minus the mean, which is 21, all divided by the standard deviation, which is 5. OK, so you should be familiar with standardizing then your variable x equaling 28. That turns out to be 1.4. So what we've got here then is 0 0.625 multiplied by the probability that z is greater than 1.4. OK. Now for a probability of z being greater than 1.4, if we're using tables, then what we need to do is write this as 1 minus the probability of z being less than 1.4. Because our tables, remember, just give us the value of being less than a z value. OK, so using your tables, you should find that when you look up 1.4, you end up with 0.9192. So we've got 1 minus 0.9192. OK, I'll leave that for you to check out. And doing that calculation gives us 0.0505. 
So I just want to border this off here. Okay, so just come down here. And if I draw out the standardized normal distribution, let's just see what we've actually worked out. We've just seen that the probability of being greater than W, in other words, if I just project down here onto the standardized normal distribution, this area in here, okay, which corresponds to the area greater than W, is 0 0.0505. Okay, what we worked out here. So that means the probability of being less than W, represented by this area here to the left of this line, okay, is going to be 1 minus 0 0.0505. In other words, it's going to be 0 0.9495. Now, I can work backwards from the tables. If I call this standardized value that corresponds to W here, let's say Z1, then from tables, if we just look at an extract from them, I'm looking for a value of Z where the area to the left of it is 0 0.9495. And you can see from tables, it turns out to be 1.64. So I'll just write that in here. We would say that from tables, we get that Z1 equals 1.64. And so therefore, I know that 1.64, my Z value, if I were to standardize it from this observed value up here, would be that observed value of W, minus the mean, which is 21, divided by the standard deviation for the distribution of x, which we saw was 5. Okay, so it's just a question now of rearranging this for w. And so w equals 5 times 1.64, and then plus the 21. And if you work this out, you get that w turns out to be 29. So quite a long question, but uh, hopefully if that caused any problems, you're now sorted. Okay.